Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way through the Crucifixion Woods. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. I went ahead and uh, bought some large arrows and then filled up my fire arrows. I also went ahead and farmed up some Titanite shards so we could level up our bow one more time. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead, level up our bow, and then get started in the Crucifixion Woods. Ah, well, it is good to see ye in one name. Okay, now we just need some large Titanite, but we're going to be worrying about our Claymore leveling that up first before our bow. Pretty like that. Now let's go rest at the bonfire. We're going to travel over to the Halfway Fortress. Let's go ahead and two-hand our sword. We're going to have some guys carrying a big old pike. Even though it looks like a tree limb. Uh, apparently it's a pike because if they, if you kill them every now and then they will drop a pike. Apparently that's what they're carrying. So we're going to come down here. All right, we want to be really careful for these guys. These guys, kill them as fast as you can because they are quick. They can drop embers and titanite shards. So if you want to farm up some embers or titanite shards, these guys drop an okay amount of souls. And then right over there, we have a black knight. We want to be really careful. We're going to come over here to the right first. Grab some items just in case we die. We want to grab all this stuff first. And then we get our first coal that we can bring to Andre. This is the Farron coal. Each coal that you get will allow you to imbue your weapon with different elements. I'm going to sneak up behind this Black Knight, get a charged R2. Dodge. Get him to run at us. Too early. Heal ourselves ourselves again still too early we're just gonna keep backing up heal up again get that parry and then kill him that was close. Close, 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 close. So the easiest way I find to kill those guys is when they do their big over-the-head swing and then parry them. When they're running at you and they do that big thrust, that can be parried, but it's a little more difficult, at least for me, to parry that ability. Now we're going to be killing a crab. 
be sure to fight them in the water. If you go on land, then they're going to burrow into the ground and you're going to have to fight them again. And their health is going to refill all the way, so... We don't want to go too far over there or else we're going to get invaded. Nice, we staggered it. Let me get one more hit. For killing this big old crab, we get the Great Swamp Ring. That will boost your pyromancies. So if you're a pyromancer, you can put that on. Actually, I think pyromancers start with the Great Swamp Ring. I'm not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was not even close to far enough. We're going to move up just a little bit. Just make sure you don't get anywhere near this tree. You get near this tree, you're going to get invaded. Just get a little closer. Oh, good lord. Little closer. Felt like a crab was sneaking up on me or something. Are you serious right now? There we go. Finally. Get it to come over here. Ooh, that was very close. Good thing we have our blue tear stone ring. Don't get hit by the bubbles. It will slow you down. Make your life a whole lot harder. There we go. Took out both of the crabs. Now we don't have to worry about them. Now all we have to worry about is being invaded by a uh, yellow finger hazel. Grab ourselves the great swamp tome. We can give that to Cornix. She should be spawning in right here. Awesome. That went perfect. So for killing Hazel, we get Hazel's pick and we get the Xanthus crown. Now, if you don't want to get that stuff first, you can come right over here, wait for her to summon in and then get the backstab on her. Grab the grass crest shield. Some green blossom. Green blossom is always good to have. You can kill these crabs if you want. Be really careful. There's a ton of these pike guys over there. We're going to take care of the dog first. Backstab him. And then pick ourselves up a titanite shard. See if we can... Get the drop on these guys first. Perfect. These guys don't have very much poise. So they're pretty easy to kill. You can't roll into them like you can with the workers or the undead workers in uh, the undead settlement. But you can stagger them pretty easily with a uh, great sword. Especially a um, colossal great sword. Tight 
Take these guys out. Be very careful. They can poison you. Poison's not really that bad in this game, but it still ticks your health down. You can outlast um, it if you have something like the Blessed Shield. Then you won't really take uh, health damage. I mean, you will, but you'll also be getting healed at the same time as you're taking damage from the poison. Thought there was one more over here. Yeah, there's two more over here. Be really careful, or three more, my bad. Be really careful, we do have a dog over here too. Awesome, we are getting a lot of Estus back. And that's what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the Twin Dragon Great Shield. Take this guy out. Careful of the dog. And then we'll come over here, grab ourselves a fading soul. Go ahead and light that grace. Go ahead and light that bonfire. Okay, if you want for funsies to summon in Hodric, you can always summon in Hodric, fight him. You won't get a shackle, a vertebrae shackle for killing him, but you can get some souls. It's totally up to you. I don't find it useful. I'm not sure if you get an Estus or two back for killing him either, but it's worth a shot. Grab ourselves an Estus Shard. Now we'll be able to have eight instead of seven. Get an Ember, and then we have another one of these guys. Again, kill them as fast as you can. They're super quick. Wow, we, we are pretty much full Estus. down here and then we're gonna hop down right here grab ourselves some green blossom and then off to the left we're gonna have another guy get the sage ring get the sorcerer set and I absolutely love these Sorcerer Gloves. It also boosts your curse resistance. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of um, curse resistance. And we'll find out why much later into the walkthrough. Just making sure there was no enemies over there. Right here we're going to grab the Fallen Knight set. And then we're going to have two enemies over here. If you don't want to fight them, there's an easy way to take care of them. I'm going to show everybody the easiest way to take care of these guys. Come over here to this ladder. Just sit right here. They're going to try to hit you. And they just walk off to their own death, to their own demise. Super easy. Takes care of them fast. And then you can come down here and grab their weapons. While we're down here, we can light this bonfire. Climb this ladder to the top. Grab ourselves a Homeward Bone. 
And then right over here, there's nothing. But if you miss the fair and coal, you can see it from right there. So you're like, oh, how do you get over there? It kind of uh, makes you want to explore a little more in the area. So then you end up backtracking, trying to find that. Over here to the right, we're going to grab an item. Come over here. Up these stairs. And we're going to go through this doorway. Kill that crystal lizard. Get ourselves a crystal gem. And then right up here, we have ourselves a sorcerer and a guy with a spear and a shield. They're really not that hard to take care of. Just be very careful not to get hit with that um, spell. It does hurt pretty bad. We're going to be going over there in just a moment, but first we're going to go to the top. We're going to come over here, hop down. Get ourselves a ring of sacrifice. And then right over here, we're going to get the Golden Falcon Shield. <laughs> this small little crab trying to hurt me. How dare it. And now we're going to come back over here where we killed the Crystal Lizard. Kill this guy, and then we're going to veer off to the left. And then right over here, before we do anything, we want to kill the guy with the lantern. Because if he screams, he's going to wake everybody up. Now that these guys are extremely hard or anything, but it's easier to take care of them when they're just stationary. Pick up the heretic staff for all you sorcerers out there. You can try that one out. And then right over here, I always feel like there's an item here. There's no item. I don't know why, I, I just always feel the need to go over there. So before we go through this doorway, we're going to veer off to the left. And for anybody that does not have 10 points into intelligence, you might want to get it now. If you want this NPC to go back to Firelink Shrine, you're going to need at least 10 intelligence. Let's go ahead and talk to him now. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer, with plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Go ahead and make him a promise. If you say no, then he's not going to go back to Firelink Shrine. So just say, yeah, I'll make that promise. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, of Vinheim, unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. 
It shall be like our very own school. So now we have a new NPC that will be at Firelink Shrine. And we will go talk to him in a little bit. For now, we're going to come over here, grab some blue bug pellets. It's actually going to be handy. Oh my goodness, this guy. I thought I was going to do a plunging attack, but apparently not. But like I was saying, that's going to be handy once we get into the boss fight here in just a moment. Be really careful walking around here. There is a hole that you can fall down right there. So that, just keep that in mind. Real quick. Take out this sorcerer. And then right over here, we have our good friend Egon. Wait for him to summon in. Why we're waiting for him to summon in. Let's go ahead and put on the blue bug pellets. Okay. So let's put one on and then go into this boss fight. We want to run all the way across. Don't stop. Oh, I did not mean to eat that blue bug pellet. Womp womp. Egon is a lot of help in this boss fight because the boss will eventually make duplications of itself and you're gonna have to um, find the right sorcerer. And how you can tell which is the right sorcerer is the one throwing purple sorceries at you. So the one that has purple sorceries right here, this is the boss. So you want to focus on him as much as you can. If you need to, kill some of the other sorcerers before taking on the main boss. That way you're not getting hit with sorceries left and right. Like especially that. And that's the Crystal Sage. Pretty easy, not a hard fight. More of a gimmick fight to me than an actual boss fight. So if we're killing the Crystal Sage, we're gonna get his soul. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. And then we're gonna sit at it. We can take the blue bug pellets off. Oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about the shield. So the uh, Grass Crest shield is a really good shield. If you're not worried about your health ticking up very slowly, you should definitely put on the Grass Crest shield. This will boost your stamina recovery rate. So you already have the Chlorinthy ring on, and then if you put the Grass Crest shield on, you're going to have even more stamina recovery because it does stack. Sorry about that, I meant to say that earlier whenever we uh, got the shield. Kill that crystal lizard, get ourselves a twinkling titanite. Kill this one too. Get another twinkling titanite. And then we're gonna wait for this cage carrion baddie. I don't know what else to call them. going to wait for him to path back over here and we're going to drop down and take him out. Now as soon as you aggro this guy, his buddy is going to come running. So try to take him out fast before his buddy gets over here. 
You don't want to be fighting both of them at the same time. That's usually a death sentence. Kill him. And then right here, we can fall down. And I know that you see loot right there and it's very tempting. You can grab it if you want, but what I like to do is kill the evangelist first and then grab the loot. Get a backstab. Get the evangelist hat. Cool, cool. And then we get the herald armor. going to cross this bridge. And then we're going to light this bonfire. And come over here to the left. And we have an enemy. This enemy can be parried. Actually, fairly easily this enemy can be parried. I'm not going to waste time parrying him. Usually I try to practice parries. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> It was too tempting. Just talking about it. Super easy fight. Shouldn't struggle with them too much. And if you do and you die, the bonfire is just right there. So not hard to get back to. Grab the paladin ashes. Now we have another guy to kill up there. But first we're going to veer off to the right. And take this path over here. Come up to the top. Grab the crest shield. And then you can get a running jump. And drop down on this guy. For some good damage. His poise is doo-doo, so you shouldn't struggle with them too bad. Especially if you have a great sword or some kind of great weapon. So for killing him, we get the spider shield. Now, over here, we're going to have a bunch of arbalists and dogs. We want to take the path that is right down here so we can dodge the crossbow bolts. The dogs will come to us. At least they should. Thought there was another one over here, but he must have de aggroed towards us. Ooh, this dog is feisty. Kill that guy. Go ahead and heal ourselves. Grab a large soul of an unknown traveler. We're getting really lucky with uh, our Estus regain in this episode. And now we have taken out all the enemies, so we're free to just explore this area. We're just going to come up over here, and this is the Cathedral of the Deep. Take him out really quick. If you let him catch on fire and run at you, he can explode at you, and that is no fun. So over here, we're going to have an NPC. I'm going to let him talk, and then afterwards, uh, I'll explain some stuff. Merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire 
for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> Let's light this bonfire real fast. So real quick, side note, if you do not have the Ashes of Ariandel DLC, this guy will not be here. But if you do, he's going to be here. And what I like to do so he doesn't keep repeating this dialogue is I like to talk to him, go to the DLC, light the first bonfire, and then come back to the Cathedral of the Deep. If you want to start on the DLC early you can but i do not recommend it it is quite difficult um, but not impossible so let's go ahead and talk to this npc wait you've you've the same scent as that woman then you must be an action one you must be oh <laughs> You don't know how long I've searched. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Ah, uh, thank you. They of ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. The ashes were too. Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Grab this rim blue moss clump. And then we have made it to the painted world of Ariandel. We're going to light this bonfire. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Firelink. And we'll end the video over there. All righty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all in enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. 
Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.